Hi guys, welcome to Off the 10th. My name is Chris, and today we're taking a look at a beer. Yes, you have probably guessed it already. Today's Moo Cookie is from Counterpart Brewing, right here. We're doing this beer that I'm going to pull out right here. Today we are taking a look at Dream in Color. That's right, Dream in Color is an India Pale Ale that's coming in at 6.8% alcohol by volume. It's in a 473 milliliter can. Uh, this one is brewed with peach, which is uh, pretty interesting. So it's going to be hazy and maybe even a peachy color. I don't know. I haven't opened this. Um, this one is brewed with Amarillo, Mosaic, and Bravo. And yeah, and like I said, it has peaches in it. So we'll see what it's like. Um, I'm excited to try this one. This beer was canned two days ago. Today's the 16th of May. This was canned on the 14th with a little stay safe on the bottom so let's take a look at this one i don't even know why i'm rolling it right now but why not so let's see what we got all right counterpart best brewery right now in niagara falls probably actually most definitely in niagara falls yes one of the best breweries in the niagara region for sure right now look out look at the haze look at the haze oh it looks so good looks so good dream in color I didn't pour the whole thing. I wanted to um, take a photo of it later. Okay, so this one is hazy, murky, turbid. Oh, dirty glass mafia there. Joe would not approve. Anyway, that's what we're looking at. Sure. Okay, let's look at the color. Head on this one is just an off way. It's going into a yellow kind of hue on the head on this one. Uh, pour it off with a half finger head. I didn't pour it really aggressively. Uh, this is actually really cold. I just pulled it out of the fridge like literally two seconds ago. So I'm excited to try this one. Uh, other than that, it's very, very hazy and murky looking. All right. I'm getting the traditional um, IPA kind of notes on this one. With um, When it comes to the tropical notes, a little bit of a grapefruit pithiness on scent. A little bit of grapefruit scent and a little bit of an orange scent. But... I'm not picking up any of the peach scent, and I think I know why. Because it's probably too cold to pick out that peach scent. But you know what? Let's try it. Cheers, guys. Cheers, goes guys over at Counterpart. Let's drink it. Okay. So just like a lot of other beers from Counterpart, when they're this hazy... And they're in this turbid looking and murky and all those words. The mouthfeel on this one is damn tasty. That's <laughs> damn tasty. Yeah, the mouthfeel is damn tasty. The mouthfeel is high end of medium, reaching almost to the low end of full body. Mm hmm. Which is actually really, really nice for it being 6.8%. Yeah, it's smooth, it's creamy, not very effervescent, which is cool with me. I mean, there's tons of oats and definitely tons of oats in this one and well, tons of wheat just to give it that big body and with that it's not super spritzy but it is freaking it's carbonated but not overly carbonated i guess that's what i'm trying to mumble out of my mouth out of my mouth hole anyway let's talk about the taste okay there's peach in it there's not it's not like super heavy peach like sour peach or even kind of like like a sweeter peach or anything. It's in there, but it's very dialed back. It's again, it's probably because I'm drinking this room really cold. But you know what? I'm getting it. Now I'm getting it on the back end of the palate here, not the at the very end of the taste. I'm picking up a little bit more of that peach. I'm hundred percent guarantee that this is gonna be a little bit more peachy once it starts warming up a little bit. Um other tastes on this one. Uh Yeah, I'm picking up a lot of the citrus. I'm picking up a lot of a grapefruit kind of a hint on this one. Flavor, a little bit of pithiness. Um, when, I, when the initial sip on this one, it starts off pretty sweet, but then it dries right out and it gives me a nice little, tiny little bit of a bitterness on the very end. And it's a super easy, crushable beer. Counterpart, they did it again. And I like this one. Kind of wish I did scores, but I'm not going to do any scores because this is just a move quickie. And in my own opinion, guys, get out the counterpart. Pick this beer up. Pick up uh, this beer. Dream in color. It's freaking pretty good, damn good. But anyway, I'm starting to lose my train of thought because I'm day drinking now, apparently. 
Anyway, guys, I'm done with my own opinion. Guys, let me know if you guys have tried this. If you have, let me know down in the comments. And uh, if you plan on trying it, come back, let me know. Other than that, like the video, subscribe, hit that notification bell, guys. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace out. Bye-bye.